if we hit 10k by the end of this year i'll do a face reveal so last time we checked out flow frames and now we're going to check out stable diffusion gui this allows you to generate uh, images uh, on your own gpu for free i'll have this linked in the description and if you click this you can download it now for free take me to the downloads and download the version including the model you should see a zip file and this will be the folder and it will transport you here and right here you can enter your prompt and you have a negative prompt here which basically just allows you to remove certain things from the object you can generate up to uh, 1k images which is fine for what we're going to do now it will auto save all the images to a certain folder so right here we can write something uh, like a frog and now we can click generate and there we have it we have a frog it's going to generate the second image now but if we just go back to this folder we can see the images folder appeared we can double click and go to frog and here we have our frog picture something else you can do with this is create seamless textures you can set this to all sides which makes it seamless and now we can put in something like a brick wall texture so here we have our first brick wall texture and this actually looks pretty good it looks really realistic it has uh, a lot of like dirt on it it's not that clean which is great as you can see in the bottom left corner it took about 30 seconds to generate this i posted a lot of new models on my cg trader and gumroad so if you want to support me please check it out any donations or purchases really help the channel if you can't do that right now please just leave a like and subscribe i think the recording froze um anyway uh, so we're in blender and we can just select our default cube and delete it of course we don't need it we need a new cube we can go to the shader editor add a new material add a new image texture and then navigate to our folder uh, for this one i'm going to use our our brick wall texture because that actually looked pretty great and if we go into material preview we can see our brick texture we can add a mapping node we can change the mapping to make it uh, bigger or smaller something like this works like four and then we can add a color ramp black means really uh, shiny so just do this and now it will look pretty rough to add some bump just add a bump node really simple really to the color into the height and then normal to the normal uh, this looks pretty bad so we change the strength down a little bit and now it looks shiny so we make it a little rougher and that's our brick texture we can uh, of course just bake the roughness texture and the bump texture into different textures uh, but if you're using this in blender i would just suggest keeping it like this if you're going to like export this uh, you're probably best off to just make some new textures that's really amazing let's look at a different texture we made let's use a texture i already made like the asphalt texture and yeah that's uh, basically everything you need to know so now you can make your own textures without uh, having to do anything so if you would like to support the channel please go over to the gumroad and please consider subscribing and liking so yeah i'll see you in the next one goodbye